welcome back to Lockman Diggers. Well, it's the, the 9th, the 10th, 2022 today. I'm going to be hosting um, the pumpkin competition, sunflower competition, and um, we're also going to be officially long, opening the um, the four well-being plots which uh, we've had developed. Um, that's coming on. That's later on today, and. Um, I said I've been on the car boots this morning, bought some cracking things, or I might share them at the end of the video, then again I might not be able to because the video's going to be running quite quite long because we've got lots of stuff what we've actually been doing. Wondering where Buttercup is, she's sat on my car in the sun, warming herself up. Um, like I say, it's still early. Anyway, we better get on with this video. Hopefully we'll get it up tonight, but um, like I say, we're very busy today. Um, got so much work, um, so much stuff to do. But I think we'll get it up later on tonight. Anyway, what we've been doing. Well, I've, I've built another bed on the back of the plot, so I'm gonna take you down there in a moment and show you what we've been doing. And we actually got, um, we, we, we use a magnet to go around the road, collecting all the nails, which, uh, you know, which go on the, the, the road and we collect them so they don't go through the tyres on the cars. So I use that to um, to clear all the, uh, the nails out of um, the burning bin and so we can use that ash later on in, in the year. So that's what I'm going to start off the video with. So here it comes guys. This is what we've been doing. Well guys, I'm just giving you the highlights, what I'm doing. I'm going to knock these boards out here, take them all out. I've got new boards over there next to the chickens. We're going to stick them into this bed. So, um, you see what it looks like at the moment. Um, this here is all rotted. So I'll throw this in the burning bin. Again, um, this one is rotted. I just lifted it up. Just hit it with the sledgehammer and loosened it. I'm going to take this up, break it up. And we're going to put new boards all the way around here. And it'll look absolutely fantastic when we're done. Got my angle grinder, my, my drill, we've got my screws. It shouldn't take next to no time to do, but I really want to get this one done pretty fast because I've got a whole host of things to do. Yes, so what you see there is celery, and yes, it is really good. And yes, I will be taking it out shortly, some of it anyway. Same with the dahlias. You can't see them, the sun's blinding. But uh, yeah, we're going to put the new boards just like this one. I bang them, put them in. Um, I have to get some some wood to to fasten them in, and then we'll get some decent wood chip. I'll wood chip the paths, and it'll look absolutely awesome. Right, so this is what it's looking like at the moment. We'll come back when it's all finished, and I'll show you what it looks like then. So here we go, guys. I've just got to do a bit more um, raking. I'm going to put a load of wood chip down here shortly. But there's the other one. So I've got these two. Them three over there, that one needs to be done still. I still need scaffolding boards for the one on the other side. Um, I've not done the, the the frame over this one yet. They're the gutters for that. I've got all the bits. I've just got uh, my magnet, well, the magnet, what we use to drag around the allotments, to clip, clip all the, the nails and what have you. I'm just gonna get a plastic bag and I'm gonna get all the, the nails out of that Bin, which has got the um, the wood ash in it and get all the nails out and I can use the wood ash to, to put in my plot in my beds but yeah this is what we've been doing this morning uh, we just screwed it together I've still got to put some um, some pieces of wood in to hold it but once the um, wood chip goes in these won't go anywhere <laughs> and she's back she like What's the cup? There's no food in there. So uh, I've got a magnet here. I'm going to stick it in this bag. I was looking for a bag out and got a bag. So I've stuck it in this so we don't get uh, metal all over this um, fishing magnet. Yeah. I don't have to explain to you. You've been fighting. You've got a scratch on your nose. Right, buttercup. Right, you can't go. Look, see in there? Eh? You don't want to fall down there. I'm not fishing you out. Like this, I'll be back in a bit, guys. I like I say, this is my magnet. I can't get the bugger out. It's... Buttercup's not letting me. 
Yeah, it's just dunking it in there to get all the, all the uh, stuff out. But we're going to stick it in this here. Uh, there's nothing in it. No, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. Eh? What's she like? Got to love her to bits. Talk about Dora the Explorer. No, I'm busy. Stop mithering me. Right, I'll be right back, guys. Like I said, I got my hands full here with Buttercup. So we got all the nails and everything out there. I had to use this um, bread bag. The only thing that that thing I was using there wouldn't, wouldn't it won't go in that bag. Buttercup's given up. But yeah, we've cleared all the um, all the, the nails and everything out there now. So it's good to go. This I'll put that ash into my beds and rake it in, and it'll be absolutely awesome. So yeah, never throw your you burnt wood ash away it's absolutely a excellent that for on onions and what have you so that's what we got on the magnet all them nails and bits and bobs so that's the fifth bed there's one more bed to do um, i haven't got scaffolding boards to do it however i have got some planks that i can double up and turn into scaffolding boards it's not the best idea but I can't get hold of any scaffolding boards at the moment. I keep you posted on that. As for the um, the, the, the burn, the, the ash, there's nothing better. Um, put that in all the, the potassium and everything, all the nutrients. Sprink, sprinkle that on your beds and, and hoe it in. Nothing better. It's good stuff. And um, yeah, buttercup driving me nuts. She's seen the the, the um, Kit Kat, didn't she? Anyway, the next video I'm going to show you is me putting my elephant garlic in and. Um, we're going to be putting a net over it to protect them, so we're going to show you um, me doing that now. This bed here today, I'm going to put uh, set all my garlic up, and then we're going to plant all the garlic, push them in the ground, three inches, and um, basically. We're going to put an, uh, a, a net over them just to stop the cats from going in. And what I will do is add some, when I do the um, potato reveals, I'm going to throw some compost on top of the um, on top of the garlic just to build the bed up a bit more. Now, it doesn't need building up. If you, let me put my cup down. If you look here, if I get my hands in, you go really deep. So as you see, the soil is perfect. So I'm just going to push. The, I'll push all my elephant garlic into it. I'm going to pack. In fact, I'm going to pack them in this time. Get them a bit closer. There's a load of uh, bloodfish and bone and grow more in there. A top of uh, some chicken cack, which uh, we've put in as well. We've we've rolled it in, but I might add a bit more fertilizer before we actually put the garlic in you can see a footprint there where the foxes walks across but um yeah what we're gonna do we're just gonna give it a bit of a hoe in this bed to get it got uh, to, to fluff the soil up and to take out any weeds that's been what what started to come up in there and then we'll get the the elephant garlic in so uh I just tidied the bed up. I'm going to set my garlic out. I'm, I'm going to use my measuring stick to measure it. I'll show you me all on the surface, ready to go in the, the ground. And it's just a matter of pushing them all in. Two inches deep. That's all I need to do. Right, I'll be back when I've got my garlic and um, we've give this bed a bit of a hoe in. There we go. Very inquisitive watching what's going on. <laughs> There's a couple of them in there with the feathers are all all come off. Let like this one what's come to the front now. She's out of feathers, she's mol in molt, so later on this year she'll have all the feathers back. And I'll be getting me eggs. Full complement of eggs. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked here. This is what we're concentrating on. 
gonna get me garlic and we'll have at it. We're going to push them in now, two, two, two inches deep, and um, I've got a net which I will put over them just to stop the cats from going in there. But um, yeah, this is my elephant garlic, and like I say, two inches down, that's where it wants to go. I don't need a trowel or anything like that. It should just push in quite nicely, actually. The soil's really, really soft. Anyway, I'll do that now, and. Um, then we'll get the net on it and that'll be the end of this one. We've got seven more there. We've actually got a pile inside the shed. Give it a little raking.
So there we go, folks. You won't think there's 70, call it 80, 80 um, elephant garlic in there, but there is. Um, well, 79 to be precise. Absolutely awesome. I'll probably stick another two buckets of compost in there because, you know, you plant these um, elephant garlic two inches, two and a half inches deep. That's how deep I've, I've actually planted them, two inches. So, a couple, couple of um, pots of... Uh, potato compost in there I think that'll kick them off anyway I'm going to put a net over these I'm going to have to put a couple of screws in the boards just to, to pin the nets down and uh, that'll keep all the, uh, the cats off and the foxes hopefully so guys we've got the debris netting on um, well not the debris netting but um, we've got this net in it it just clips over the boards that is like a springboard and uh, it'll stop anything from going, well, to, a f to a, an extent it will stop things from going in there. Um, especially the cats, they, they don't like that underneath the feet. But as you can see, it's quite tight and taut. Once the elephant garlic start, gets to the top of the... Uh, the scaffolding boards I'll take the the net off and um, then just let them grow naturally and then they you know they, they get off to a flying start but yeah this is covered over um, 79 elephant garlic in there and uh, let's hope we have a success like we do every year right anyway I'm gonna move on and uh, get on with uh, other stuff that I've got to do and the girls could stay at that one there. See all the feathers coming off her. She's uh, molt in molt at the moment. There's another one. There's, there's a few of them actually molting. But anyway, we're not. Mad, but we're more interested in what we see here. So we got in in this part here. We've got elephant garlic. In the other part there, we've got um, cabbages. And then behind them, we've got cabbages, uh, collies, and. Um, Got some broccoli. Right, anyway, jobs are good, and so we're going to move on. So yeah, all that elephant garlic. Wow, we're going to have a good year this year. I, I can't believe a few, a few of you's there telling me how much it is for a couple of cloves of that. I can't believe it's more than more than three quid. But yep, yeah, uh, one or two of you there saying it's uh, you can pay up to seven, eight quid for a couple of cloves. That's crazy. However. Um, we did end up giving a load of um, the elephant garlic, uh, which we, which you seen last week. To we give a, a big handful to my mate George, and we give another handful to my mate Mike. The elephant garlic, what's left there now, is going to go home for my sister. Um, so it's been a week, so I'm going to be taking it home and let her have it. The rest of it. Um, we was actually here the other day, and we was um, splitting the. Um, the porcelain white let me show you what is it with you eh what is it with you hey eh? you see me do something and then you're there aren't you look at that scratch on your nose you've been fighting young lady you've been fighting hey eh? Don't even think about it. Ah, ah. No. I know you. Got to get these done. Unless you want to sit there. Well, go on, sulking. What's she like? Well, guys, these are my porcelain white, and what I'm doing. Well, you can see what we're doing. We're cracking into them and uh, making sure they're all okay because I'm going to be putting these in shortly. And first one's okay. There's two, three, four.
five. Six. The smaller ones I don't really like to use unless I really have to. Seven. Eight. So we got basically we got nine and we got a few off, a few smaller ones there. Yeah, when I give all my garlic away early in the year, I made sure I store these in me me back shed away from everyone. And so we'd have some for later on in the year. Do you try buying this stuff in the shops? Um, it's ridiculous. Two pound fifty for a, a couple of them. You know, a couple of couple of these. Absolute crazy price. Uh, crazy. And for what they are, lost count now. But yeah, anything that size is perfect. Now, you may have seen me putting the elephant garlic in, we just got that in. Uh, everything looks really well in that bed um, I, I've got no no worries about it coming up uh, we had a load of um, grow more and blood fish and bone uh, we had some chicken manure in there um, horse manure we dug it all in well, well oh god how long ago did we do it about three four months ago and well, you see me putting it in with my bare hands, so, so it shows you how good the soil is. Yeah, I hate having to do this bit here. As you get into the centre, they get smaller. So, all the small ones end up at home. In the fridge waiting to go into the wok. Well, I think we'll come back after I've, um, I've split the rest of them because they're going to take forever to do these. So I'll see you in a bit guys. I'll show you what we've got when we've done it. She's sulking over there. <laughs> Last one, thank God for that. I say my back's absolutely wrecking. So this is my porcelain white, which we grow every year. Um, this garlic, by the way, if you grow it on your, on your allotments after five years, it's, um, it's basically it's a, a new strain of garlic, really. Um, but if you can get garlic, try and get it off uh, some, the, one of the plot holders that actually grows it on the allotments because um, they've been growing it for years and it, it, garlic can be funny, you can get a lot of uh, diseases but um, if you've been growing them on your allotment for, you know, someone's been growing them for five or six years they, they're pretty tough and that's what you want, you want really, if you can get it, um, someone to give you a few few cloves of garlic off the allotment anyway so there's all the, the husk uh, that one mm -mm. right so there for the walk and then ones to go in right, anyway I'm gonna tidy up here I got one on the floor then pick it up because I know what will happen we'll have a garlic growing underneath the table right anyway tidy up here and then um, we'll get on with something else but that little lot there is all my porcelain white I have got more and we will add it to it but mmm lovely even better 
that's going home and it'll be in the wok before you before you can say wok <laughs> yeah so buttercup driving me nuts again um carted her she went off in a sulk um don't know what it is with with my pets on here this this way that they're driving me nuts um point in case uh, we've put a live trap at the back of the the plot to catch the sulfur meerkats and um the only thing i've been catching this week so, well up to a certain point was um maggie in, uh, and then um in fact i've got a couple of clips here to show you um and uh, we did catch the sulfur meerkat so i'm going to show you and we uh, well i'm not going to tell you what we did to it you'll find out in the clip this is a problem i've got Bloody Maggie, I could honestly, I could wring her neck. I put her in there, I put the, that in there to catch a squirrel, and we caught, caught, oh dear God. Right, go on, sod off. Unbelievable, now I've got to set the thing back up again. She might learn from going in there. Unbelievable. We're trying to catch the sulfur meerkats, not the not the uh, maggies of this world. So I'll set my trap up, and we'll we'll try it again. <laughs> well, there's Buttercup having a having a breakfast. Just come on. Just going to feed the chickens. Give them a, well to collect the eggs. Oh. It looks like we caught some. Ha! We got a sulphur meerkat. Little bugger. So you're the one who's been eating, trying to eat all my corn. Eh? Sucker, we got you. Now then, I get you, I bet you're all wondering what I'm going to do with it. Is he going to kill it? Is he going to drown it? No, we don't do that. Why do you think we've got a live trap here, guys? Um catch and release just we don't release them um, too close to the allotment so I'll go and put it take it up to up to the park and we'll release it and hopefully it won't come back <laughs> I caught Maggie in that the other day but uh, that's what they're there for, to catch uh, to catch the sulphur meerkat. Yeah, uh, they cut all the bloody corn. Look at it. It's, it's at all the corn, so it's it's been it's kept fed. Yeah, you little bugger. Hey, stop freaking out. Yeah, they are lovely. Right. <laughs> you're lucky you're not getting drowned you little bugger you're gonna get released I'll teach you you can stay there for a the minute yeah I'll take him and release him I know you're not supposed to but then again what would you have me do? Kill it? Uh, we don't do things like that. <laughs> Buttercup. You should scare these buggers away. She could care less. It's going to fly off her in a minute. <laughs> She's very curious, isn't she? Grey squirrel, Salford meerkat. <laughs> hey, shut your face. Going for a ride, buddy. I'll teach you pinching my sweet corn. I'll take you to somewhere where you can't cause any trouble. Yeah, so catch and release. So, little ride down to. A little place and a little wood, a uh, bit of um, woodland, and uh, 
we'll get rid of them there. So I'll see you in a bit guys. So this is where I'm going to let the Salford Mare cat go. There he goes. This is um, on the ship canal um, just behind um, Centenary Bridge. He slagged it up the tree and he's gone. So my job is done here. <laughs> so I've uh, just set my Salford meerkat um, trap back up and we wait with anticipation of catching another one of these um, little devils. However, we did catch Maggie the other day, um, catch and release. <laughs> um, we did the same with the uh, that last uh, that last squirrel as you probably saw there, and you probably saw there Maggie as well being released again. In fact, it's facing the wrong way today. Not that it make any difference. But yeah, we got the trap there, ready to catch them and uh, get rid of them. They're a pain in the backside. Yeah, so we, we released it. it was we only, it's only about half a mile away um, as the crow flies and uh, we dropped it at the, the ship canal. Now down there there's a load of fruit trees and there's a load of um, horse chestnut and stuff like that down there. So we didn't just dump it anywhere but yeah it's it's about, I'd say it's a, it's a good quarter of a mile away from any houses or any gardens and um, it'll probably be back here by now, um, probably chewing on a, a sunflower little bugger but uh, yeah catch and release I uh, don't like to kill them I do know that they they really should destroy them but like I say it will probably be, be back now eating all the sunflowers um, so um, the next clip I'm going to show is a sequence of events uh, basically um, we was uh, we took the pea frame out of um, the, a raised bed next to the brassicas uh, we had a few, found a few cu small cucumbers in there called Lodiva. Um, we took them out, um, took the frame out, give it a bit of a hoeing. Um, I decided to do a potato reveal, a couple of potato reveals. So I'm going to show you me doing just one of them. And I'll give you the weight what we ended up with, or, or close to anyway. And then what we're going to do is show you me putting the celeriac in. Yeah, we've got some celeriac and um, you're going to see me putting that into this bed right now. So let's get down back down to the back part of the pot and show you what we've been doing. Hi guys, well, today we're going to be taking this, uh, this frame out of this raised bed. I'm going to remove all the cucumbers. This, there's nothing left in there that I can see. Uh, we're going to remove them, give the bed a bit of a hoeing. Uh, do a couple of potato reveals as well and throw the potato compost into here, give it a bit of a rake in and then we're going to put um, some celeriac in here so I'm going to get started now all it is is a matter of just cutting these cable ties four cable ties These are awesome. I had these made for me. They're plastic over a metal rod. Uh, the only thing that's rotten is the end bit there, but you, you know, absolutely fantastic. Now the frame should just lift off in theory. So this just folds away nicely. So I'm gonna get a pair of gloves and just get all these insect compost bin. There's a few small cucumbers here. There's one. There's another. Hmm. 
I got some. <laughs> didn't even know they were in there. But we're going to tidy this up. And then we'll get the hoe out. And give it a bit of an owing. You wondering where Buttercup is? There she is. Anyway, oh, you can see another one there. No, it's not a very good one. Throw them, throw that to chickens, I think. Right, we'll be back when we've uh, finished clearing them. So, hold on to that thought. So we just give the bed a quick hoeing. That gets rid of all them weeds which are just starting out. Uh, we're going to be putting celeriac in here shortly. Um, might throw a couple of buckets of uh, compost here, but I've got um, from a couple of potato reveals that I'm going to do in a bit. So I'll probably throw them in. And then what I'll do is uh, we'll put the celeriac in here. But as you can see, all nice and tilled. You can see the steam coming off the boards here. If you look closely, you can see the steam coming off them. The sun's really strong this morning. I like everything was covered in dew early on, and, and it's, now it's all burning off. Anyway, we'll be back to this bed shortly to put the celeriac in. Well, guys, just get the bucket here and uh, just cutting all the, the tops off these potatoes. And what we're going to do, you guessed it, we're going to do a potato reveal. Make sure I get all these uh, seed pods from the tree. I think we've got most of them. Right. Now then, I'm going to tip the bucket up, get me bag and see what we've got. Where's the husk of the seed, the seed potato that I use? Plastic bag. Let me make sure I've got the camera turned on. Yeah, I've got it pointing at the, bu the bucket. Makes a, it's a load of sense. Right, let's see what we got here. Not bad spud. little spuds here we don't want them if we can help them all these tiny things we're not weighing them I've weighed one bucket this morning I've got to be up clear uh, it come to five pound three um, however, I ended up having to scrap that video because uh, one of the plot holders come over and talking and raising the voice and I had to give up on that one. But uh, yeah, this one. I think will be okay. It's 
should have put my gloves on to do this. Now this compost I'm going to throw into the, the bed at the front side of me here. And then we're going to put um, some celeriac into it. There's a lot of these smaller potatoes, what's never going to be used. So I've got to get them all out though, because I can't throw them into this bed. Otherwise we'll have potatoes coming up. Um, tiny little potato, you get a big one of them. You get about five or six pounds of spuds from it if it, if it grows. So you've got to make sure you get them all out. Uh, must, have, must have took about four or five ounces of them small ones out now. Uh, I think we've got them all. Yeah, there's nothing else left in there. Let's see what we've got in this bag. So I'll set the scales to pounds. Just, just, just short four pound that. Another couple of grams would take me to four pounds. So, yeah, out of the two buckets, we've uh, we've got nearly ten pound of spud. So it works out about five pound a bucket. There's me other, there's me other bucket here. So there's two buckets of car, or five, about five pounder in each bucket. So there's about ten pounder spuds there, and I probably thrown a, about four or five ounces out of that one. So anyway, jobs are good. Eh? At least buttercup kept out of the way. <laughs> so I'm going to get this compost into that bed now. And then what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll get the celeriac and plant them out. So that's my next job. So today we're putting this celeriac in. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, well rooted. And I've got, well, I've got 18, but... Put 16 in. So it'll stop. It'll, it'll make uh, the pattern not right. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a uh, we've got 16 in, a couple of spare ones there, and basically all it is squeeze the pot. There's a the tap root. Last one. Now you see, it's lying down at the moment. That's because it's in shock, but it will pick up throughout the week and um, what you do with celeriac you break the leaves off uh, the the leaves which it goes starts to die back what you do you break them off and it, it gets bigger and bigger the um the actual cellar celeriac so yeah we've got 16 in there i'm not going to cover them and I don't need to water them because this, this is sodden, you know, it's been raining. So, yeah, I'll stick some onions behind them, I think. 
At least bus of cups kept out of the way there. Right, onwards and upwards. Got a lot to do today. So, we got all that done. And I thought, well, it's that time now. We really do need to get these winter onions in. Now, I've got these Ishikira um, um, yellow skin uh, winter onions. And um, you're going to see me putting them into me raised bed we did give it a bit of a hoeing and uh, you're going to see me putting all these in I think if we well I think we put hang on what's 11 times 33 so, uh, I think I said 253 it's 263 at onions I think I, I make a, a comment about it well you'd probably see something flash up on the screen but yeah we put 263 of these onions into this bed. You're gonna see Buttercup. Watch what she does, she's dead crafter. Ended up, um, she was getting involved. You'll see in the clip anyway. But what we're gonna do, we will speed it up when we're in parts and we will add some music. But um, yeah, this was the, the last uh, of the clips I'm gonna show you uh, what we've been doing this week. So let me show you now. Well, just about to start to put some of these winter onions in and got mown a lot here. I've got to take the net, move the net off this so I can get in there. I've got two boards to kneel on so I'm not flattening the soil. But first things first, I've got to give it a rake and uh, get all the, the, the new weeds that have come up in the bed. Give them a good chopping and the onions will fly away then. But first things first, I've got to take the bloody net off here. This is hard work, this. Just to do this, though. <laughs> Let's crack on. Right, I'm busy, sweetie. So you're going to have to bear with me. Get out of the bed. I've not even started. Not even started and you're in the bed. Come on out of it, you little bugger.
Well guys, as you can see, we've got the boards here. I've been kneeling on them and I'm working that way. And I've got a pile to stick in. So I will show you me putting the first row in and we'll come back later on when they're all in. But at the moment, um, buttercup's just out of the way so I can get on with it. I guarantee you though she'll be she'll be there driving me nuts before we we get to the end anyway. But you see the boards here, they're in now. I'm gonna be kneeling on them to spread my weight about. So here we go. So as you can see, I've got my boards what I'm gonna be kneeling on. I've got my onions there, and just here is me my measuring board so we're going to put them in every six inches I'll show me doing a few of them um, the problem I've got is buttercup she's lurking and the last thing I need is her in the bed while I'm doing it but you know I can't can't stop her really but we're going to get on with it so here we go no stay there before I've not even started so these are the onions I'm sticking in <laughs> got one eye on her I'm going to try to do this No. So there we go guys that was emotional I put the nets back over obviously to keep buttercup from um, driving me nuts and uh, the jobs are good and So there we go, net back on, jobs are good and so yeah 263, we've still got the, the, the red onions and the, the, the um, snowball onions to put in, 
Uh, we'll get them in sometime in the week. I didn't do them, um, but they're still in the greenhouse here. Um, so I'll try and I'll, I'll try and do something about them next week, uh, along with clearing the the middle greenhouse out. So Buttercup's got a got her house back for the winter. Um, anyway, I'm I'm going to head off over to. Um, oh, she's turned up now. <laughs> she's just gone back for food. Hungry. So I'm going to head back over to the the other side of the allotments because I'm going to be um, doing the pumpkin competition, doing all the way in with Mike, um, uh, the set the secretary and chairman. So. We've got his tape measures. We we'll, should have the scales and everything. So we've got. I think we already know who's won. I'm not in it this year. I I, I dropped out because I want to give everyone else a, a fair chance. Um, but I think the the pumpkin what's going to win it is, will be Aaron's, unless someone's got a sneaky one. But I think he may have uh, he may have won it. And we we do compet we do prizes. Um, for the first prize is three bags of compost. Second prize two bags. Third prize one bag. Um, the sunflower competition. We've already measured them, so we know who's won that. But we haven't told anyone. Um, we'll be presenting uh, awards and presents to all the children. It's basically for the kids. And then we're going to launch these well-being plots over there on the other side of the allotments. Uh, we'll be handing the proceedings over to to Susan, Yasmin, and um, and Catherine. They've. Um, got the funding and they've done all got all the organization so I think it's only fit that they actually um, take over um, the event um, but I, obviously I'm gonna have to go over there and open it once I've done that I can um, lead them to it and go and stuff my face with all the burgers that's if um, Sue's ordered some <laughs> I still I've got my coffee so that's the main thing anyway um, we've got, we've got um, a couple of um, councillors coming and um, I'm going to be taking, me and Mike are going to be taking, and Sue are going to be taking them on tour the allotments in the moment. So we got that, then we got the, uh, the, the doing the competitions, and then opening the event and then after all that, hopefully I can get home and uh, get this video launched. I have been on the car boots this morning, I bought some fantastic stuff. I bought an RC car. I can't really show you now, but um, I'll, I'll dig it out in a minute and I'll, I'll show you what we've bought. I did buy some coins as well, um, and I got some I got some belted bargains, a uh, couple of Commonwealth Wales, and uh, we got England, uh, we got Mary Rose, we got um, Rio, Fer Rio Andover, we got this um, other commemorative, it's um, Alaman, it's like a car, racing car. Um, we got EEC stars 50p. I paid 20 quid for the lot. Just one of them coins is worth 18 quid on its own. So we did all right. I will we'll show you in the next clip in the next video. But that's it. Like I say, I, I've talked long and hard. I've definitely talked long enough. Um, pity you're not seeing Buttercup perched on me knee today. But like I say, it is early and she's stuffing her face. I'll swing the camera around and show you where she is. There she is, having a having a breakfast. So now I've got to go and run off and get this comp get this event open. So I'll see you later, guys.